Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. PowerPoint lets you export a PowerPoint presentation to a PDF document or XPS document. To create a PDF document from a PowerPoint presentation, open the presentation to convert to PDF or XPS. Then click the File tab in the ribbon to open the Backstage view of the file. Then click the Export command at the left side of the Backstage view to show the export pane to its right. Click the Create PDF slash XPS document command in the Export pane to then show the Create a PDF slash XPS document pane to its right. If the presentation contains accessibility issues that you should investigate before saving it as a PDF document, you will see an Investigate Accessibility button appear in the Create PDF XPS document pane. To check the presentation's accessibility before creating the PDF, click the Investigate Accessibility button to open the Accessibility Task pane, which you can use to fix these issues, as previously shown in the lesson titled Check Accessibility. After resolving any accessibility issues if needed, then repeat the previous steps to open the Create a PDF XPS document pane again. Then click the Create PDF slash XPS document button in the Create PDF XPS document pane to open the Publish as PDF or XPS dialog box. Use this dialog box to navigate to the folder into which to save the PDF or XPS file. Then type the name for the file, if needed, into the File Name field. If you want to save the document as an XPS file instead of a PDF file, select the XPS Document option from the Save as Type dropdown. To set the PDF conversion optimization method, choose either the Standard Publishing Online and Printing option button, or the Minimum Size Publishing Online option button as desired in the dialog box. To set your PDF printing options, click the Options button to open an Options dialog box. In the Options dialog box, select what content to print and set the desired printing options for the content. These options are very similar to the printing options already discussed in the previous lesson titled Previewing and Printing Presentations. After setting your desired PDF printing options, click the OK button in the Options dialog box to apply them. If desired to open the PDF or XPS document using your device's default PDF or XPS viewer after creating it, check the Open File After Publishing checkbox. To then finish creating the PDF or XPS document, click the Publish button in the Publish as PDF or XPS dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.